Okay, so today guys, I've been asked to um, show you guys how to hook up your Wiimotes to your computer uh, using my GlovePie script because some people's compute, like uh, Wii Motion Pluses aren't working. So I'm going to try to figure this out for you guys. First off, let's go into GlovePie. Just open up GlovePie really quick and load up the code I gave you. Okay. Now when you hit run, you're going to notice it says Wii Motion Plus not detected. It's because neither one of your Wiimotes are on. And you have two types of Wiimotes you can use for this. You can have the ones that have the Wiimote built in, or the Wii Motion Plus built in. And you can use the ones that have the add-on. Make sure this little orange part isn't showing when you have the add-on. Because that means it's unlocked. So you got to go up and you got to lock it before it will work. And you can only, I think you can only use name brand Wiimotes for this. I don't think you can use knockoffs like Nokia and uh, Rock Candy and stuff like that. All the ones that light up and shit. Like, you have to use name brand, is what I think. Okay, so it says that. So, what I'm gonna do is I want to hold down the one and two. See how my lights are blink and blue? When those are done, I'll show you it again. Okay, so now you just want to do that. Now wait for them to quit blinking. I'm going to take this out of here. And grab me a nunchuck. Okay, it didn't connect, so just try again. Sometimes these take forever. Okay, you want to plug in the nunchuck to your second remote. Because this is the one you're going to be walking around and shooting with using the nunchuck. And looking around by holding down the Z button on the nunchuck. Okay, this one's connected now. Give it a second to config. Don't touch the Wiimote when it's configuring the one with the Wii Motion Plus because that's how it configs. Well, now there's one solid blue light. Of course, it jumps to the Force 2, then goes to the 2 in the middle, and then when it's configuring, and then it'll jump over to the left. But as you can see, it still says Wii Motion Plus not detected. But now if you stop it and then run really quick, the Wii Motion Plus will reconfig and it'll say Wii Motion Plus. No, it won't say that anymore. Okay, well, now I'm going to hook up this last one. This one always gives me issues. Make sure the nunchuck is plugged in while you're hooking it up. I'm actually going to get some issues. Okay. Now it's hooked up a second player. Okay, so now this one you're going to use to shoot and stuff, but I'm not going to be able to shoot right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the mouse with it. See? You hold down the Z button on the nunchuck, by the way, is what I program. And then you can just move it left, right, up down and that's what does the head tracking in your video games and if you try to just shake it around it's not going to work see how my remote's not really working just kind of got lost yeah so that's how you set those up Remember, I suggest using the ones with the built-in Wii Motion Plus, and you need a second Wiimote without Wii Motion Plus, or it could have Wii Motion Plus built in. It doesn't really matter because I didn't program it to use Wii Motion Plus with the second remote. And hook them up. Make sure it doesn't nunchuck. Hold down the Z button for tr head tracking, and that's all you really need to do. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.